This is a ramping up your English book review. Are you looking for outstanding photography and a way to strengthen your English vocabulary? You'll have both in Seymour Simon's Book of Trains from HarperCollins Publishers. Each time you turn a page in this book, you're treated to world-class photography. One page features a train switching yard in Portland, Oregon. Most pages have written information about the picture you're enjoying and about trains in general. You'll encounter the precise vocabulary of train terminology. You'll also encounter language forms like present tense verbs and prepositional phrases. You'll see how objects are used to describe things by listing their parts. Mostly though, you'll enjoy learning more about trains and about the various cars on the train. You're also likely to find the reading level understandable. Seymour Simon's Book of Trains is a beautiful book that offers an enjoyable way to learn more about trains. You'll have to get your own copy. I'm too attached to mine. For Ramping Up Your English, I'm John Letts. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English, a support program for intermediate level English learners who want to improve their English proficiency. If that's you, you're in the right place. This is Episode 7, Segment 2. In the previous segment, I asked you to write down about how much of the video clip narration you understood. Using a percentage works well. So how did you do? Was it 30%, 70%, 100%? Whatever it was, doing these self-assessments are important to charting your progress. When advancing in a second language, it's important to cut yourself some slack. Being a language learner means you're going to have uncertainty. Reading or listening with less than 100% comprehension is normal. If you've been with me since our earlier episodes, you've been asked to make such assessments in the past. Now is a good time to compare today's results with those of the earlier programs. You may very well be seeing an increase in the amount of content you're understanding. Here's an example. In the first episode, I entered 60% on April 4th. In today's video clip, I understood about 75%. Now, these are examples, of course. You could even make a graph like this one. This is just an example, but it shows comprehension starting at 60%, then improving slightly in the third episode. Then in the fifth episode shows a dip in the level of understanding followed by episode seven that rises to 75%. Your graph will show progress over time, your progress as well as your struggles. When I did the episode five example, I was thinking of the video clip about railroad workers and labor unions, which was a departure from the other terms of difficulty. With so much new vocabulary and reference to history I knew little about, it's no surprise that I understood less of what I heard than the other video clips about railroads. You may wonder how watching train videos can improve your English. If you've watched several episodes, you've heard much of the same vocabulary repeated. We've done some vocabulary work with unit terms and action words. We've explored the structure of the language and we've introduced and practiced patterns of language. We've ramped up the language for some language functions, and for all these reasons, today's video clips may well be easier to understand than the first ones you watched. More importantly, your growing comprehension will transfer to topics other than railroads. Self-assessments like these are important to advancing in the language. As a Spanish language learner, I know how discouraging it can be at times to become proficient in a second language. Progress is not always obvious. Sometimes it can look like you're going backward as your brain incorporates these new patterns and structures. When you do see progress, it's important to celebrate. And if you don't see progress yet, remember that your brain is undertaking one of the most difficult uh, learning tasks, learning to communicate in a second language. If you know some English, you can help others get off to a good start in school. Here's how the family of Jorge Montezuma helped him have a good experience in elementary school. He had this to say during a program on RVTV called Adventures in Education. 
When you came to school, you had quite a bit of English already. Is that because of your sisters helping you? Yeah, mostly Rocio. She really helped me, and Jennifer. Yeah. And you, you had a lot of, all of your family had a lot of support. Apparently your parents really care about education. Yeah. What, what, what ways has your family supported you through, well, through your school? By te teaching me when I want to say something, I have to raise my hand. When, um, when you want to, like, you, when you, uh, she, oh, we used to, um, Rocio, she told me she put like little stuff on a piece of paper, and so she, um, I had it to say them. Like she wrote some stuff, and then I had to say them. And so sometimes we had, I had it to like go to the bathroom, and so I raised my hand. I told, I told like my mom was like my teacher, and um, like out in my house. And so I raised my hand, I wanted to go to the bathroom, like I wanted to use something. And so that's how I began kindergarten and I need some English by my sisters and my support from my parents. You don't need to be an expert in English to support others this way. If you understand even a little of this program, you can be a huge help and so source of support to others, especially to children. This ends segment two with so much to learn from video clips. Let's see another one about passenger trains when we come back. This is a ramping up your English book review. If you've taken an interest in the theme of trains and railroads, you can grow that interest with Trains Magazine. This is for the serious rail fan or just anyone who loves trains. Each issue has a main theme, this one about western steam engines clearing the tracks of snow and ice. Since the featured events were for our photographers, there are incredible pictures in this special winter and holiday issue. This issue also features Union Station in Kansas City, a beautifully remodeled historic train station served by Amtrak's Southwest Chief during its nighttime run between Chicago and Los Angeles. Trains Magazine is also a good source of finding railroad museums closest to your home. If you want to know more, visit their website. I found my copy at a newsstand and I just couldn't resist buying it. This has been a Ramping Up Your English book review. I'm John Letts.